So we've had our office for about 12 years now. So we've had patients that have been with us the entire 12 years. And we'll have patients that come in and they'll come in with low back pain or neck pain and they will uh, get feeling better and then we won't see them for six months and then they'll come back and they've got the same problem in the same spot. And they always wonder why does it come back to the exact same spot? And so the reason why is because A, uh, they probably didn't get the thing completely fixed um, in the first place because a lot of the underlying problems are more of uh, core weakness or really tight muscles that have to have exercises or stretches to make sure that they are, um, uh, that we're not putting pressure on the spine or that the spine isn't too unstable if there is core weakness. So uh, another thing is that people just have bad habits. You know, so if, you're, if you're sitting at work all day or if you're uh, leaning over and uh, you know, bending and picking things up the incorrect way, all of those can create problems. So let's say each, each person I've found usually has one to two really like problem areas. So for me, it's in between my shoulder blades. So whenever I get stressed, whenever I get really tired, whenever I start to get sick, I always feel it there first, all right? So some people, it is the, um, the cervical spine, so their neck. Other people, a lot of people, it's, it's for their low back. So what, what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is kind of like why does it always seem to be the same area? So let's say for the low back, if somebody is, uh, their vertebra you know, is out of alignment um, and they come into our office, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to adjust it, move it back into alignment so that things are straight and that these joints are moving it the way, way that they're supposed to. The reason why you feel pain at all is because these nerves are being pressed for some reason, whether it's from uh, the, the, um, the joints being out of alignment themselves, if it's the discs pushing back against it, it can even be muscles um, that are creating uh, pressure on the nerve itself. So uh, they come in and let's say it's a, a L2 problem, so that'd be this vertebra right here. So it's off to the right, uh, we adjust it back into place, uh, we do a few adjustments over a couple of weeks, they start feeling better because we've taken that pressure off of that nerve. Uh, what happens though is if they stop coming in and they uh, go back to their bad habits or uh, start doing the things that caused it in the first place, that's going to start to go back out of alignment. So your spine has patterns in it and it's going to want to go to what it knows as normal. So it takes a while to break that pattern and it takes adjustments, it takes exercises, it takes stretches, eating healthy to really break those patterns permanently. And it's something, it's, it's like working out or brushing your teeth. You do it every day because you have to. Like if you don't brush your teeth for a week, your, your teeth are gonna start to fall out of your head. Um, if, you don't, um, if you don't exercise, you, know, you can go and get on a diet, lose 30 pounds, be in the gym every day, and then you're like, great, met my goal weight. If you go back to eating donuts and, and ice cream, you're gonna be back up to where you started from because your body has certain set points, it has certain patterns uh, that, it, that it wants to naturally go to. And that's why those problems come back time and time again. So what we have to do is we've got to break that pattern. We've got, if this is out of alignment, because not only did you do something, you slept on it wrong, but because you've, you know, for the last 15 years, been lifting with your back instead of your legs, or um, or you sleep on your on your stomach and you're putting too much curve in your in your low back. So there's lots of different things that can be the straw that broke the camel's back that caused it that one time. But what is the underlying issue that we've got to make sure that we address so that it stops coming back? So that's what we do here at the office is we make put a personalized plan together for you to make sure that we're not only addressing the problem that you walked in the door for, but the underlying problem that's caused it in the first place. So if you know somebody that's just always dealing with chronic issues, it's got the, you know, gets a little bit better, gets worse, and it's back and forth all the time, uh, tag them in the video, uh, comment or, or like it below, and we'll see you on the next video.